Firstly, Sunny, how should we negotiate the price with the factory? First of all, you must know the factory's MOQ first. If your quantity is greater than the factory's MOQ, you can ask the factory for a discount. Firstly, Sunny, how should we negotiate the price with the factory? First of all, you must know the factory's MOQ first. If your quantity is greater than the factory's MOQ, you can ask the factory for a discount. If the purchase quantity can't reach the MOQ, first, confirm whether the factory is willing to sell, otherwise it is meaningless to bargain. Secondly, no matter how much the factory quote, you can try to ask for a discount. But the factory quotation is the wholesale price, so there is not much room for counter-offer. Finally, in the EU market, there are many stores selling similar products. If the price of the same products are very different, you'd better figure out why. Don't buy defective products just because you want only cheap price. So, what if a product is only available in one factory, but the purchase volume is even smaller than the MOQ? Regarding this point, three suggestions for you. Number one, most of the products actually have similar alternatives. If possible, it is recommended to purchase from another factory. Number two, if only this factory sell it, you can tell the factory, I'm buying goods from you for the first time. I want to know the quality of your factory's products, and I hope to purchase a little less in order to test whether my customers would like them. I will reorder soon, and the quantity of reorder will exceed your MOQ. In order to retain a new customer, some factories will be willing to lower the MOQ for you. The factory will look forward to your reorder. Number three, you can tell the factory, I'm willing to extend the delivery period. If other customers have purchased this product, the factory can add the purchase quantity of the two orders to reach the MOQ. Okay, Sunny, as you say, there are many shops in EU markets selling the same product. So, how can I compare their prices and quality? This is a very good question. The shopkeepers in EU market are very friendly. You can ask for product information such as price first. Instead of buying on the spot, you can even make a decision after returning to your country and comparing the price and quality with your team. But you need to have detailed information records, including all information such as storefront, price, materials, MOQ, product, picture, and so on. Of course, you can entrust your purchasing agent to complete all these tasks. Uh, how do you request samples from factory in EU market? This depends on the specific situation. If this product is available in the factory, the factory will usually agree to give you samples. If your purchasing agent has worked with the factory before, you can even get samples for free. But if the factory only has one sample, usually the factory does not agree to provide samples because the factory has to show it to other customers. But you can pay extra for proofing and wait a few days for the factory to produce one extra for you. It should be noted here that the proofing fee is usually more expensive. But when your order purchase quantity reach a certain amount, most factories will refund your proofing fee. And how long is the delivery date usually in your market? Different products have different production circles. For details, Please see our product introductions in each issue. Generally speaking, products in stock can be delivered within one to three days. And for customized products, it usually takes about 15 to 30 days. Sunny, many friends uh, want to build their own brands, so they need to customize their packaging. Uh, do you have any suggestions on this? First of all, we recommend different packaging according to different products. In EU market, generally, the factory is not willing to customize the packaging for you unless you purchase a very large quantity. My suggestion is, leave professional things to professional people. The factory is only responsible for the production of products. There are many packaging factories in EU 
and you can leave the packaging to the packaging factory. You can also entrust your agent to communicate and execute for you. The thing need to note here is that the custom packaging MOQ is generally very large. In order to save money, my suggestion is that you don't throw away the unused packaging, but leave it to your agent for safekeeping. They may be available for your next order. Sunny, a customer asked before, how do you ensure 100% of the quantity and the quality of the goods? If there's a shortage or college problem, will you compensate? Yes, we have always had that promise. If you find that there is a shortage or quality problem when you receive the goods, we will compensate you 100% for your loss. Why do we dare to make such a promise? Because we have confidence in our own QC team. All goods entering our warehouse, we have to count the quantity, check the quality and the packaging. The goods can only enter our warehouse after being confirmed. That's why we dare to make this promise. Generally speaking, customers who come to EU, what method would they usually choose to store and transport their goods? Regarding warehousing, Generally, the purchasing agent in EU have local warehouse. You can entrust your purchasing agent to help you store the goods. There are generally three modes of transportation. International Express, Air and Sea. Okay then, what is the difference between International Express, Air and Sea? And which situation is suitable for each of them? International Express is characterized by fast shipping and high price. Generally, it only takes 5 to 7 days for you to receive the goods. But the cost is high, suitable for goods with high value and small size, such as jewelry. The characteristics of sea freight is that the freight is cheap, but the time limit is slow. It usually takes 25 to 35 days for you to receive the goods, suitable for Buckley commodities, such as daily necessities. Air freight is between the two parties. The time limit for air freight is generally about 8 to 15 days. The price is slightly cheaper than International Express, but it is still much more expensive than sea freight. It is suitable for those products that are more urgent to get the goods, but are also larger in size. In addition, EU also has railway options. Xinyi'o Railway can transport to Central Asian countries and European countries. The time limit is 15 to 20 days, and the freight is similar with sea transportation. Regardless of the mode of transportation, EU has established a very complete and mature international logistics system. What kind of payment do factories in EU markets generally choose? EU markets procurement mode is EXW. Customers who come to EU generally buy many different products. These different products have to be put into a container, and the factory cannot provide FOB price. As for the payment methods in EU market, generally, 30% deposit and 70% cash on delivery. Usually, customers who come to EU to purchase will have purchasing agents to work together. Generally, a professional purchasing agency company will sign a purchasing contract with the factory and pay the factory a 30% deposit. The contract will stipulate the product quality and the delivery date to restrict the factory to strictly follow the contract. After the purchasing agent receives the goods and confirms that there is no problem with the quantity and the quality of the goods, the remaining 70% of the balance will be paid to the factory. This way, it can ensure the both interests of the customer and the factory. So, how should we choose a suitable payment term? If you come to China to purchase, I suggest you change some RMB in advance. Because you ask the factory to buy samples, or you need to use RMB in daily consumption. If you want to pay to a purchasing agent or trading company, usually you can choose the method of bank transfer. The currency is US dollars. Generally, it is also 30% deposit and 70% balance. So, Sunny, many customers ask it. Under the current circumstances, I can't come to China. Then, how can I continue my purchase? Indeed, our customers currently have no way to enter China to purchase. 
customers will interest us to find new factories, new products, and new quotations. In this way, whether or not customers come to China will not affect their purchase. We can be the eyes and hands of customers in China. Of course, you can also look for products directly through Alibaba. It's also feasible. If a customer wants to cooperate with a purchasing agent, what is the efficient way for that? Take our company as an example. Recently, because customers are unable to come to China, we have received many quotations from customers, and our workload is also very large. Experienced customers generally do in this way. They provide us with detailed product pictures and tell us that they need products of similar styles or must be the same. And they will tell us the quality requirement and the quantity they plan to buy. With this information, we will soon be able to find suitable factories and products, then quote and source for them. If you also want to complete your procurement work efficiently, we also recommend that you refer to this mode. If you want to get some inspiration, you can visit Alibaba first and send us the products you are interested in. With the same quality, we can find a cheaper price for you and integrate your international logistics. Under the current epidemic, what other products are hot selling? There are many home exercise equipment, toys, kitchenware and so on are very popular. And if you are engaged in e-commerce, it's a very good opportunity now. In the future, many customers will turn to e-commerce to buy goods. For these details, you can watch our previous video. There is a very detailed introduction. Sunny, I wonder where you got this information you share with us. These are all knowledge gained from work experience. You cannot get this practical knowledge from school. I gained a lot from the problems and difficulties I experienced with my customers together. Today to share this information with you is because I hope you can avoid some bad situations and know how to solve them when you encounter. When choosing a purchasing agent, you will also know how to distinguish the professionalism of the agent. Professional agents will help you predict what may happen next and will also increase insurance of customers in every aspect. Okay, thank you so much, Sunny, for sharing such useful information with us today. Happy to help. Okay, if you have more questions to consult, you are always welcome to leave a comment down below. We'll answer your questions as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching. Your likes and attention are the greatest support. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.